on guys, it is your boy Cecil here, bringing you guys yet another Photoshop tutorial today, and we're using a comic book header design theme tutorial here today, so as you guys can see, it's pretty freaking sweet, so like, I've been working a lot with like, I guess, like, a half tones and stuff like that for like my brush pack and stuff like that, you know, so you, you guys understand that like, I'm familiar with like half tones. so I thought like half tones, and all of a sudden like I thought comic book, and then all of a sudden I thought, you know, trying to bring, you know, the comic sans font in, so I just thought something really cool like this, I think it actually came out really, really well, like I, I feel like I constructed it pretty well when it comes to the text part, and then just like the overall back background is very simplistic however it's it has like the comic book theme so as you guys know like comic books and like the starburst effect you know that, that one effect that everyone used like for like thumbnails like you know a year ago but um so yeah like it has a little you know starburst effect but i also put in like half tones inside the starburst effect which is pretty freaking sweet i think and then of course you have a whole bunch of half tone like little i guess like little dots inside the actual text and then like surrounding the text to so make it look really fun and active and of course the basic uh, i guess you know the cool little speech bubbles which you can have like more of those if you want to be honest if you want to have more links and stuff like that and then like um just little stars and hashtags and little and little exclamation points so it's not that hard whatsoever it's just the construction is really fun it's a pretty cool process so i'm gonna get right into this thing so of course do not forget to leave a like 200 likes on the video equals a signal down below which will most likely be the psd of this video that you see here today and it's kind of like i guess a little pre-made for you guys and of course uh just do not forget to like comment down and like anything you guys want to see me do of course and of course if you have yet to subscribe you should really do so i mean like come on like it's awesome and also i'm finally done with my freaking semester this semester so like i think you know of course i started in spring or whatever so um i'm ready i'm like freaking ready to go so hopefully you guys enjoy and if, if you haven't done your finals yet i i apologize and i, I wish you luck and uh, all that cool stuff because that's all i can do for you all i know is that mine are pretty easy besides like one of them so yeah let's get into this thing right here <laughs> Alright guys, to so start this thing off, we're gonna obviously need a nice little comic book themed font here. So the one I actually got for today's tutorial is called Bada Boom BB. I got it from Defont.com. You can find the same exact one. All you gotta do is type in uh, Bada Boom BB. Or what I'll most likely do is leave a link in the description down below that gives a direct download link to that as well. Um, pretty much, it's a really nice little font here, right? I'm just gonna type in the same word I have before, creative. Um, it gets the point across that it's a nice little comic book themed font. And like it's nice and bold, it just it just makes sense. It's nice and cartoony, right? So that's what I kind of want. It's not too comic sans, right? And it looks pretty good. So I would suggest this one if you guys want to. But if you guys have any other cool ones, make sure you guys use them as well. Um, so yeah, the only thing you're gonna need for today's tutorial is gonna be uh hex uh it's not hex tones, half tone uh brushes, like brush stocks, right? So I have actually two half tone brushes in my 60k pack, and what I'll most likely do for you guys is actually make a simple two stocked uh brush pack. Uh, brush for you guys to download and like use if you guys don't know how to download and uh, actually upload brushes to your Photoshop All you can do is go to your brush right Drop down go to this little cogwheel drop down and then go to load brushes Find wherever I where you save those brushes that I gave you guys press load and then you're ready to go So all you're gonna really need is this one right here, right up oh, right here so this one you're going to need just right here. This little nice one right here. Uh, so if you guys want to have that, just make sure you guys go get it in the description below. Those are the free ones. However, you guys want to get some really nice brushes, I have a file brush pack for you guys. And it's actually really freaking awesome. It's been out for like quite a long, like quite a long time, to be honest. Over 600 people have already purchased the actual pack. And it has over 250 creative stocks in here. And of course, anytime it actually gets updated, you get a free updated email for you guys to the actual product download. It's really freaking awesome. I really would suggest you guys to get it. Like I said, I'll put this uh, link in the description down below for you guys to actually download it. Or excuse me, purchase it if you guys wish to. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing going. So the only thing I really need, uh, also the color scheme for this little text right here, this little yellow that I'm using is uh, F. For F11E, that's a nice little yellow for you guys. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna start off with is the back plate to this little text here. So what do you guys think comic book? You guys think like blast or like cloud, something of that sort. So that's what I did for mine. I have like a cool little like a little blast effect kind of with like sharp edges and stuff like that. And I would really suggest you guys to do this with your pen tool. It gives you more creative control and it's really cool, simple to do as well. Like it's really fast to do. So, but if you guys didn't really want to, if you guys go to your custom shape tool and you go to your shapes here. And if you guys like scroll down a little bit, these are all the font shapes, I believe, uh, default shapes, by the way. So if I just go to like here, maybe this is like one you would want to use, or maybe you want to edit this one, something of that sort, I would just really suggest you guys to use a pen tool. But if you guys don't want to, you want to keep it symmetrical or something like that, maybe this will work for you. All right. So new layer, pen tool, and let's just go for it, right? We're just going to go ahead and like, just, you know, do something kind of crazy. This looks pretty okay. I'm going to follow this angle right here on this E. That actually that looks kind of too too wild. I want I want to go like this way. Uh. Right, something like that. Okay, I think we're I think we got this right. Something like this looks pretty okay. I'm I'm pretty okay with it. I'm gonna fix this just a little bit. I'm holding control by the way to select my select my uh, pen tool points. Um. Uh. That's okay. 
I don't know why I'm fixing it. It's okay. Just let it go, says so. There we go. I'm okay with this. All right. So with this, when you find a little shape and you get your little blast shape or whatever going, you can I can fix this all day. Um, okay, <laughs> dude. Oh god, it's tilting me. All right, right click, fill the path in, drop down, and use color, right? And the color I'm actually gonna use for this color is gonna be blue. Why did I say that? The color for the shape we're gonna be using is blue. So for the hex code, if you type in zero bb one c one, you get the same exact blue that I'm using for today's tutorial. Press OK. Press OK again, right click, delete the path, or delete the little pencil path that you just did. You don't need it anymore. And then you're pretty much ready to go to the next step. So what you're gonna be doing a lot to this actual effect or these, uh, first of all, the font, the actual shapes, the background is adding a lot of halftone uh, brushes. That's why I said, please go ahead and download the ones I got for you guys or either purchase my brush pack. So pretty much you wanna make a new layer above this little back plate. So we're gonna call this back plate. Make a new layer, right click, click and mask it. Use B on your keyboard to actually give yourself some brushes right and then just select the brush that i gave you guys or like i said the brush pack um and pretty much you just want to select a nice little pink here and for the pink that i'm using is fb 0 e 46 and that's if you guys want the same exact color schemes that i'm using if you guys don't want the same exact color schemes you don't have to use the same exact color schemes i just want to give you guys just in case you want to experiment with the same exact color schemes okay so what you want to do is with this little clipping mask layer if you just click one nice time on the top right Right, somewhere on the right hand side, because we want to make sure you want to split up uh, one side's gonna be more blue, primary blue, and then one side's gonna be more primary pink, which will help you guys out when you want to do more composition to actually add more stuff at the outsides, which I will be doing with like the hex uh, little this little thing right here, right? This little thing right here, and this right here. So that's what I'll be doing. I want to make sure I have myself set up. So on this back plate layer, I'm gonna double click on it. I'm gonna go to where it says layer style, gonna go to where it says drop shadow. And if you guys want to, you can check off use global light for everything when it comes to drop shadow if you guys wish to. And what you want to do is this is pretty much the primary setting when it comes to drop shadows for this actual uh um you know this little style here so if you just go to your go to your blend mode go to normal make sure your opacity is at 100 percent and make sure your size is at zero make sure it's at zero it's so it's, it makes sure that it's actually not like you know you know blurry it's perfectly like you know sharp and you want to change your distance to like i don't know 10 pretty good whatever the heck works for you guys and uh, pretty much, when you change your angle, that's where the actual drop shadow actually gets changed. So I'm going to keep mine at like 125 for my actual back plate here. I'm going to press OK. And then of course, our text is looking a little bit weird. So we're going to have to put the same exact drop shadow to the text as well. So copy layer style, and then you can paste layer style. And you can do that for everything when it comes to drop shadows. What I might do though is kind of bring this size in or the distance in just a little bit. Right? And then of course, I'm going to um, add a new layer. Click mask that layer to the actual, uh, the, my font here. Take my brushes. Use that nice little, oh, I forgot to also change the actual back plate's drop shadow color. I want to drop this from not, from black. We're going to change it to a nice little blue here or navy blue, a nice dark navy blue. The hex code for this is uh, 0A1417. And I just want to keep it black because if you keep it black, it looks kind of awkward and it looks really good if you like, kind of give a nice little corresponding color, which I like this color right here. So I'm going to do the same thing for this one right here. Right? And that way, on this little uh, layer right here, I'm going to make sure I use that same exact blue. On my little uh, clipping mask color on top of the actual text, and I'm just gonna click and make sure some dots are just like right here. You know, that looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. So that's pretty okay. I'm also gonna just fix this just a little bit. I want to make it a little bit larger, longer, and there we go. Okay, I'm satisfied with that. So with the back plate, we're not quite done with it with this yet. We're gonna actually make another new layer below everything, right below the back plate. And if you guys want to, I, I think I put two different sets of hex tones, like I said, or half tones in that little free pack, right? So if you guys want to use something from my brush pack, however, this is pretty cool. What we want to just really want to do is like kind of just give yourself like just make sure you just kind of set yourself up with a half tone stock like in the middle coming outwards that way you get more little uh free space going on here and what i did was i pressed ctrl j to make a duplicate of this actual layer right and uh, i just moved it right or you can actually press alt and drag it over that will also make a duplicate for you guys and i just want to have two like like things popping out right so this is pretty okay i uh, what i'll also do is i'll take my pen tool and i'll just like delete a little bit of uh, certain areas so that way they don't look exactly the same if you if you want to keep it you could but it, i think it looks pretty cool if you just like give it a little more creative thought uh, well, I'm going to erase this Oop. with a hard brush really quick. I can pen tool it out if I want to, but I'm just going to use a nice little hard brush eraser, and that's pretty okay for me. So what I'm also going to do, actually, is I'm going to make another duplicate of the actual back plate. So Control J, and I'll make another duplicate for us. And we'll also take the FX here and go to Drop Shadow and make sure that's turned off. And I'm going to press Control T to free transform. Alt and Shift, hold those two corners, or hold those two, uh, uh, those two little keys, and then take your corner here and make it bigger. Holding Alt and Shift actually makes it so that if uh, the actual 
image or the uh, the the shape itself will not change shape or actually move at all. So this is pretty okay. Make it a little more bigger, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually uh, make another new layer above this. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my uh, my control key, hold the control, and with a duplicated background here, just hold control, select the actual thumbnail. What this will do is select the actual shape of the uh, the uh, the shape that you actually penciled out or whatever you did. Uh, basically, it takes the shape. Uh, pencils out for you kind of like makes a nice little selection for you guys and what you want to do is take your brush right take a nice little half tone brush and i'm gonna make sure it's on that nice little blue and i'm gonna click one nice time right in the middle on this new layer just like so and what that will do for us is it's going to basically just allow it only thing that's going to be inside this little selection that we just did with the control will be that little brush stock right so now you're going to have something like this right so cool cool okay what we're going to do is going to take our pen tool and we're just going to delete couple spots just so it's like you know you know just a little more loose a little more fun I'm gonna follow that angle and basically what I did was I took my pen tool right I right click make selection press ok press delete my keyboard and it's gonna delete maybe something right here as well I'm gonna follow this and then or like follow that okay and we're gonna connect it right click make selection okay and then deleting our keyboard once again and that's pretty cool looks pretty good right so i'm liking this so far you get the whole scheme going on right with the half tones so really quickly i'm going to add those little hashtag or some symbols right you can have like let's just add like a freaking uh what is this called oops wrong tool uh what did percentage sign does that look weird we're, we're gonna go with it and we're also gonna put the at sign because we're i want to keep it different make it look a little more different right different shapes look pretty cool actually i want to try and sign the and symbol nah let's go with the money symbol i can pick this all day okay um we're gonna go with the money symbol why not something different right um just uh, just to add a little more fun to it now if you were like think of like a way to like uh improvise or or apply like uh what do you call those like social media designs or social media uh links jesus social media like ads or whatever like you know twitter ads like ads hq right if you want to do that maybe you can like have this be a big at like i just have right here and then have like sesso hq over here or if you want to take like um social media like i guess like youtube or or twitter or something like that if you have like solid uh colors which i wouldn't really recommend because I, I would really advise you guys to keep the same exact social media uh icon logo colors however you want to if you want to make it really cool and like take like you know no let's just show you guys really quick take like a brush like this and just like have a solid shaped um color right of like what, what this is twitch right and you can have like the at the twitch um you know link to like on the left hand side i don't know to make it look cool i just want to give you guys ideas if you guys are wondering um so i'm gonna do for this one right here this little symbol i'm gonna make this one pink right that way i can actually have the uh, two colors contrast a lot better and for the at symbol i'm gonna make this one blue because over here is more primarily pink over here is more primarily blue so i'm gonna make sure i give themselves opposite colors so what i'm also gonna do is like paste this same exact layer style on both of these things and then that's gonna make it nice and quick and it's pretty much is that drop shadow right drop shadow uh normal 100 percent 10 distance zero size pressing okay and also the color is also changed it's that nice dark blue and uh yeah so what i'm gonna do for these two things is i'm gonna make a new layer above both of them clubby mask it take my brush here and then give my little half tones on these little things as well so that way it's not left out i'll put that on there same thing for the actual uh this symbol right here is i'll just do something like that there we go now they both have half tones on it and they're not left out and this looks pretty cool I'm down with that. I'm not a fan of the, I'm the at symbol. I'm, I kind of a fan of the hashtag. Okay, I'm going with the hashtag. I don't know. There we go. Right? Looks pretty cool. And this is pretty much almost done. So the only thing left is basically the actual background portion. So I'm gonna make a new layer below, like everything besides the background. Take a nice little brush here. I have a nice little cool clouded brush. And for this, it's just add a texture. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use that nice little blue for the primary color. Or my foreground color. Just gonna click a couple times with this little brush here. Like I said, if you guys don't have my brush pack, you can either just go to like uh, like Google type in like uh, a nice little uh, brush texture, something like that, or use my 60K pack. Use something for the 60K pack just to give yourself a little bit of texture. Nothing like really hardcore, like, you know, concrete texture or brick texture, because that's not really, you know, comic book theme. We just want something a little bit of texture to go on in the background so it's not completely boring. And I'm going to you know, pass it about 20, right? As you can see, right, this little font, oh, this little color here, or this little uh, texture here looks pretty good. Looks, I like it a lot. So what you want to do is make a new layer. And this is the last thing. It's the starburst effect with the halftones in it. So you're going to use G, press G on your keyboard, which gives you guys the gradient tool. And what you want to do really quickly is change your foreground color to pink and then your background color to blue. 
or pretty much what I'm trying to ask you is to actually change your foreground color to a different color than your background color. So they're actually two separate colors that are very distinct and you can see that they're two separate colors. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just pretty, just press, uh, with this little right G tool, click in the middle and then don't go far up like this. Don't do this, don't like go sideways, whatever. Just click in the middle, uh, excuse me, with the G tool. Click in the middle and then go like a centimeter or like just a little bit up that way. Uh, with the, okay, click and there we go. That way it's a nice little hard line, not like super like large, like I said, I just clicked and moved up just a tiny bit. There we go, nice little hard line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, filter, distort, wave. Make sure that your type is on square. Make sure your number of generates are like below 10. Make sure your wavelengths are together and like over on the left hand side. Make sure your amplitude is like somewhere in the middle between mid or min and max, like in between like this, like right here, right? And make sure these are also in the same exact, you know, point. And then make sure your scale is at the left hand side for this one. And then for the top one and for the bottom one, always on the right hand side. And make sure this is on repeat edge uh, pixels. Press OK. Gives you some uh, rectangles here. Go to filter, distort it again. Go to uh, polar coordinates. Press that. Press OK once again, and this is our little cool little starburst effect, right? So that's what I was talking about before. Everyone uses use starburst effects. If you guys want to keep the starburst effect and put it on overlay or something like that, you guys could do that. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to go to uh, make sure this is selected, right? Go to select color range. If you guys don't know about color range, what it does for you guys is actually any color that you select, which I'm saying is because we're using only primary two colors, right? So we have like blue and it's pink. So any color you select as an eyedrop tool, pretty much as you can see here, it selects only that color. So what we're going to I'm going to say I want the uh, I want the blue. So I'm gonna select the blue, press OK, and that way you guys can see if I get rid of this little layer right here, only thing that was uh, selected was the blue, right? So that's pretty cool. So if you make a new layer, you take your little brush, take your halftone brush, and if you click, the only thing you're clicking inside is what's in the selection. So I'm also gonna change this to pink. What's in the selection, uh, change the blue, I'm lying. Cool, all right, so the only thing that's gonna be selected or put in or when, I, when you click it's gonna be what's in the selection so you can press control D to get rid of the uh, selection or if you want to you can just uh, right click deselect and uh, there we go what I'm gonna also do really quickly is get rid of this one I could pen tool it out I'm gonna erase it because it's cooler um there we go right and then you got a little starburst effect right so what you can also do is make a new layer right click click mask it get like a nice little simple rectangle going on here or something of the sort right click that fill this path in and give your secondary color some love and put it in there with the dots as well so yeah that is pretty much it that's how you create something really fun like comic book theme of header design so hope you guys enjoyed make sure you guys follow me on twitter at sysmhq make sure you guys leave a like turn likes on the video equals a secret down below which will mostly be uh be like i said the psc of this actual video here today if you guys want to clean this up you guys could if you guys also want to add a little bit of light you could add like a nice little uh, i guess soft brush hit with like a form color white on the top something like this Right, nice little soft hit right on the top if you guys want to. Lower the opacity down. Or what you can do as well, or you can do this with the actual soft brush, is make a new layer, select your yellow or whatever kind of color that's like really nice and vibrant. Click a couple times. If you go to normal, go to linear dodge add, uh, and then lower your opacity down. You get some other nice little like light color right there, right? Or what you can do is if you guys want to find every single thing that has to do with the middle, so everything basically from here to here, control G, and also this goes in here. Is that everything besides these two things as well? So everything has to do about the text in the middle. What you can do is press Control J to make a duplicate. Press Control E to merge that group together. And then you can kind of like move this around. So this is basically one whole layer of the actual text. So you can move this around a bit, right? And put something right here as well. And then what you can do is merge all these groups together. So hold Shift, click Control E. And then go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Five pixels is okay. Press OK. Change your blending from normal to overlay. And then you can get some more little action going on. You can put like right here. Or you can even shrink it. You even have to have it super far out. Something like that. And then you can take a look at your eraser or something like that. Right? A soft brush eraser. So zero hardness. Just click around. Just give it a little bit of race. So there we go. Right? Looks pretty freaking awesome. I'm pretty happy with this. Pretty satisfied. Hopefully you guys are too as well. 
Um, so yeah, like I said already, follow me on Twitter at SysmageQ. Please check out my Selfi, Selfi.com slash SysmageQ for your pre-meds pack. It's always three bucks. And at Selfi.com slash SysmageQ is where you can find my brush pack as well, uh, as well as also in the link in the description down below. So thank you guys so much for freaking watching if I already said it already. But um, please, like, if you guys are doing your finals, uh, let me know. I, I kind of want to know if you guys are out of school yet. But if you guys aren't, good luck on your finals. All that cool stuff. I know they're hard, but you'll get through it. You'll get pa You'll pass it. And if you don't pass it, then there's always next year. Um, kidding, pass it, okay? All right, uh, please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later. So, shoot you out. Peace. That was really awkward. We're just gonna go with it, though, okay? So, just, yeah, subscribe. <laughs>